All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Update Games. So, in this episode of Final Fantasy uh, 14, I'm going to uh, continue my uh, previous video showcasing what are those uh, weekly contents that I usually run after uh, the game is reset uh, on every Tuesday. All right. So, um, right now, if you are curious of where uh, I am located, I'm actually right in front of my um, player-based free company uh, uh, house. So, the uh, free company I'm actually uh, with is actually Sandwich. Um, so, these are free company, like uh, most of my, I, I would say like all of my friends uh, uh, who actually joined this free company are readers. So readers are considered as uh, the players who like to actually challenge the um, more difficult, like the end game contents. Okay, so I think like the first uh, content I'd like to run usually uh, after the game is actually reset. It's actually to run several uh, like uh, roulettes, right? Like these are three roulettes usually these roulettes are actually reset daily, uh, to be uh, precise. Uh, so usually I'd like to run expert leveling, these two uh, roulettes. Right now, I can actually go ahead to run uh, leveling. Uh, the adventure in need is tank, so I'm going to, going to actually change my... This is actually like this um, uh, window you can see now, it's actually the uh, character's window. So from here, easily I can change my job. So I'm going to actually uh, play with my paladin. You can see uh, the paladin here, there is a number, 595. So that's the average item level of my paladin job. The highest now is actually 600. You can see my dragoon and my reaper. Like, you know, uh, their item level are at the uh, 600. Uh, so let's actually go ahead to select the paladin. And then, like, you know, uh, if I want to, I can easily just change the uh, outfit of my uh, character. So this window here, you can see, it's actually called the, uh, like the, I think it's called the uh, Glamour Plate. So easily, I can preset several Glamour I can have already uh, set up. So I'm going to actually go into, uh, yeah, I'm quite, like, you know, uh, happy with my uh, current outfit. All right, so... This is duty finder. Basically, easily uh, I can just uh, go in there, and then the game system will actually just look for uh, other three uh, players. Usually, for each um, uh, roulette, like you know, a leveling roulette, that means I'm going to run some dungeon, uh, and then like it's uh, randomly selected. The dungeon content is a random, and the uh, uh, the players, the other three players, I'm going to actually uh, play with, uh, are random. So you can see uh, right now, I'll just uh, show you right over here. I think that's much easier to see this, uh, this uh, text. So Ender Duty Finder, uh, Duty Roulette is leveling. I'm actually uh, about to run, waiting for a match. Usually uh, it's about like less than five minutes. So I can actually run uh, this uh, dungeon. Uh, usually for uh, the jobs, the character's jobs so right now, like you know what, the characters or jobs um, for the jobs I can actually bring in to play dungeon to play uh, the uh, raids those are considered as uh, the uh, jobs of uh, I believe the disciple of um, uh, of art like you know a disciple of uh, martial arts or whatever and then uh, we have also uh, we have uh, other jobs uh, as uh, a disciple of uh, hand and a land. So you can see I have three other jobs, a weaver, leather worker, and a goldsmith. So these three, these are like the disciples of uh, hand, I believe. But other jobs, like the main main jobs in the game are those like the uh, fighting fighting jobs, right? So like, you know, dragoon, gunbreaker, paladin. Uh, at this point uh, in game, there are so many. You can see there are so many jobs, like the disciple of, a, sorry, it's called a disciple of a warrior. Uh, and a disciple of um, uh, magician or magic. Uh, you can see right now, these are all of the jobs, uh, like under this uh, category, disciple of a warrior, disciple of a uh, magician. These are jobs that are subdivided into uh, different uh, roles. We call these as a role, like they are tank, melee DPS, healer, 
physical range the DPS and the magical range the DPS. So basically, there are three main roles, like the tank healer and the DPS. So for each dungeon, uh, there are four players. So there has to be a tank, a healer, and a two DPS. Okay, so I'll show you uh, once we go into the dungeon. And here is the chat box. I can actually uh, chat with other three players. Okay, this is actually uh, one of the dungeons in um, Endwalker. Okay, I'm gonna put on my tank stance. And then here we go. So I think we have a scholar. I can't really see like my uh, camera kind of like, you know, uh, obscures the, uh, the jobs. But yeah, we have actually a uh, scholar as the healer and a dragon and a machinist. So it's not hard to really play as uh, a tank, uh, especially I think the Paladin is one of the best tanks um, uh, right now. So basically, uh, tank. The purpose of playing a tank is actually to uh, uh, to tank, right? So like you know, literally speaking, basically that means I'm going to actually uh, draw attention, and then like you know, I'm going to attract the. Uh, attack from all of the enemies so then like my healers and my dps they won't get hit so um the dps can just like you know uh, safely uh, damage the boss uh, the boss or other enemies and then the healers uh focus on healing these um, uh, players so very important so in this game uh how to actually maintain like you know the uh how to actually keep the enemies like you know uh, focusing on me like you know they only hit me it's called the amity amity basically is uh, you can consider amity as like how much uh how high or how much like you know what uh, the enemies they actually uh hate me to maintain like the uh, high amity as a tank first thing i have to do is to uh, put on tank stance so you can actually consider tank stance as a way to uh, dramatically increase uh, the level of uh, uh, amity. So another thing is actually to uh, hit all of, like you know, if there are more than one enemies. So as tank, uh, remember to actually hit these enemies. Uh, using the uh, AOE, basically that means the area of the effect uh, attack. So by doing that, that means like you know the tanks that can easily just uh, hit more than one target, and then like you know what uh, with the tank stance on, these uh, enemies basically they just uh, focus on attacking me. So you can see because the enemy, they only attack me. Another thing as a good tank, I have to be more careful is I don't die. Right, you know, uh, healers for sure uh, usually focus on healing tank uh, before the uh, boss encounter. Encounter, but like you know, uh, the tanks have many resources. Like for example, the uh, self mitigation. That means like you know to to mitigate the amount of damage uh, rendered by uh, the enemies. So this is actually the first uh, boss. Each dungeon has uh, three boss. So since the, actually the boss is the single target, so the rotation uh, I'm going to use is quite different. Basically, what rotation means? That means uh, what buttons I'm going to uh, press. What what like the actions as the uh, tank I'm going to use. So it rotates, right? Like each rotation uh, has its um, uh, I would say. Uh, meaning behind why I use this button I don't use the other button right so now uh, this is a tank buster basically the boss is going to uh, hit me uh, harder and then like I just uh, used uh, one uh, self mitigation uh, action so then like you know you can see uh, I didn't actually get hit that heavy
so easily I can dodge the AoE. Uh, in this game, like the uh, AoE generated by, by boss, it's actually shown in the game. So this is a red white. Red white basically that means the boss is actually going to cast one uh, action which actually hits everybody. Fun part of Final Fantasy XIV is each boss, the mechanics, like the uh, things boss uh, does, is all different. So another tank buster. What is left? So that means you see the boss uh, has actually raised uh, uh, its uh, left uh, arm, indicating um, the boss is going to uh, cleave. The boss is actually going to uh, hit that part of the arena. So you can see right now between uh, hitter and I, there is a line. There is a tether. So this tether, uh, it's called cover. So that's actually a unique. Uh, action only a uh, paladin like uh, my tank can actually use what cover does is like you know what uh, literally it it speaks right like the the uh, name of the uh, action really speaks for itself it means like you know uh, I cover any damage uh, targeting the hitter or any you know uh, the uh, players I want to actually uh, cover cover with uh, I got a hit but that's okay as a tank like tanks has many a uh, tank privilege even though I got hit I won't die easily but the same hit like you know when if uh, the same attack if it lands on any uh, healer or DPS they won't easily die but uh, significantly like their HP will be uh, reduced but at the end of uh, each boss fight, there are lots of loots. So you can see now there are two loots, uh, but the uh, item level is 536, which is really low, below what I need. So basically, I just uh, pass those loots. So giving other players the opportunity to actually uh, get those loots. So right over here, you see like, you know, I did not use my uh, area of the effect uh, attack uh, in time. So the machinist uh, uh, got hit by the uh, enemies. Okay, I can actually uh, park these uh, enemies here. Yeah, so uh, um, when I play, uh, like you know my daily routine like uh, for the purpose of this video for sure like I'm going to uh, briefly talk about like the jobs uh, like how I play them uh, well actually uh, I'm not expert but uh, I think at this point since I have actually played the uh, tanking uh, job a lot I really know how to play them very important the tanks whenever like you know what tank just uh, you know uh, tanking for the rest of the group uh, another basic uh, uh, like the Rule of thumb is not to move a lot. The reason why is like you know uh, the DPS when they hit those um, uh, enemies, they get a, a DPS, DPS output bonus when they uh, land their DPS based on you know the uh, required position. Like some DPS, they can actually uh, hit a boss from behind or like you know uh, from sides or from uh, from uh, you know uh, uh, front. You can imagine, like, you know, what if tank move a lot, like, I move a lot, and then, like, you know what, those enemies, they only target me. So that means, like, the enemies, they basically just, uh, you know, run around. That will actually make DPS extremely difficult to actually use their uh, position notes. So at this point in game, uh, I play, uh, I have actually one healer, which is Sage, I have a two melee DPS, and then two uh, tank jobs. So uh, I know some the basic principles of uh, of the game, like you know, uh, yeah. You see, like the the, the giant mob just actually uh, 
defeated that of Kono uh, AoE. I could interrupt that uh, Kono AoE attack, I just didn't uh, like you know uh, target that uh, enemy in time. There's a treasure coffer. Again, like I don't really uh, need those uh, treasures. Yeah, so you can see there are two groups. There is another group of uh, enemies right in front of us. Usually, uh, I can uh, pull the other uh, group as long as I find out like my healers uh, is absolutely okay. Like the healers really know uh, how to heal me. So this is actually considered as a big pool. Big pool usually means like you know, uh, I pull more than one group of uh, mobs. So the shiny orange or the orange color, you know, uh, you see like right now, the orange color, uh, uh, like the uh, symbol appearing on the floor. So that means the uh, direction or the uh, area of the effect that attack uh, originated from one of the uh, mobs. So basically just easily just move my character around and then just dodge that. When play as a tank, like I mentioned earlier, I do not want to move uh, unless I have to dodge those AoE. If I don't dodge, I'll get hit, right? And then like healers uh, have to heal me, and then you can actually imagine uh, the next. All right, onto the second boss. So again, the boss is actually single target, so I need to uh, change to my uh, single target uh, rotation. So again, this is actually a red white attack from the boss. So the symbol earlier you just uh, saw, like uh, on the floor, so that means a knock back, knock back attack. So right from the center of the arena, like you you, you saw that uh, symbol. That means that attack knock knocks the players back. You can imagine if I get a knocked back into the wall of the arena. I'll get hit, right? Or like usually, uh, some some in some fights, like uh, you know, uh, getting knocked um, uh, into the wall, just a uh, just an instant kill, kill me, I just uh, die. Yeah, I use another cover, so basically I cover the damage boss actually uh, give to uh, the healer. So using cover is I consider it as a. Um, uh, advanced technique for piloting for this type of tank because um, not only I cover the attack, uh, the boss targets to a uh, healer, uh, I also get the attack myself, right? So you can see this is another uh, mitigation passage of arm. It actually generates from me, from the main tank. So I don't move, and then like, you know, uh, the animation you saw earlier looks like, you know, some uh, wings, like, you know, uh, originating from me. So any players stay behind that wing will actually receive, I believe, 10 or 15% of uh, uh, damage mitigation. Tank jobs have uh, have all different kinds of uh, self-medication uh, too, like the action or the group medication actor. So you can see I just uh, uh, gave all of my uh, three players a shrill and then you see on the floor there is a dome like the blue colored dome so that came from uh, the hitter so this dome and the, the shrill like uh, originated from me uh, will be sufficient to actually protect uh, 
the other three players. The shield I just used is called the uh, Party Wipe Mitigation. So not only like I'm going to... Um, so generally speaking, Party Wipe Mitigation is like, you know, uh, the whole party will actually receive like 10 to 15% of the damage mitigation. The shield I just used is called the uh, Divine Veil. Divine Veil is a unique. Uh, Divine Veil does not protect the tank uh, themselves, but the, uh, it actually does protect the rest of the uh, party. Yeah, right now you can see uh, uh, there is only one group of mobs. I cannot advance because you see the uh, stage uh, in front of us. Uh, the uh, pass is actually uh, damaged, is broken, right? So uh, this type of situation is considered as um, uh, easy because, like you know, uh, there's only there are only four mobs, only one group of uh, enemies. Uh, the action that I was just uh, uh, I just used it's actually called the uh, Requiesca. So it's actually uh, it's magical. Uh, so in this game, there are two different types of, uh, you know, the uh, DPS, like the damage um, uh, output. One is uh, considered as a magical, the other one is like a physical. As for Paladin, I have a boss. Yeah, right here, we only got two, two birds. Yeah, I kind of just pressed the wrong button. So the reason why I want to actually hit both birds is like, you know, uh, I have a uh, dot action. Dot is actually, uh, it's the abbreviation of uh, damage per second. So that means like, you know, uh, I can give the dots to these uh, birds and then like, you know, uh, the dot just actually slashes down uh, enemies uh, HP uh, by itself. Yeah, so right now you see like I have uh, uh, grouped all of these uh, five enemies together. They are very close with me, so I can use one uh, mitigation. Uh, it's called the uh, Repressal. I just used them. I just used it. So what Repressal does is like, you know, it just reduces uh, enemies' um, attack for 10 seconds. 10% uh, of enemies' attack for 10 seconds. Uh, the beauty of a Repressal is like, you know, uh, it does not only uh, affect the uh, single target I'm actually, you know, uh, uh, targeting with. All of the other enemies close to me, they will actually get a repressal as well. Okay, here is the final boss. Yeah, so all three other players that they are waiting for me. Very interesting thing about the uh, Final Fantasy XIV is you can imagine every boss, the rotation, the way the boss uh, attacks, they are all different. So my uh, uh, Divine Veil didn't really catch that uh, red white uh, attack uh, in time, but I did actually give boss a, a reprisal. So like they're worth a 10% uh, damage mitigation rendered from me. You see, I just used uh, Shell Tron. Like the animation looks like uh, several uh, shield protecting me. Xiaotrong is a block. So basically, 
you see, I just used the shell tongue again. Paladin is a unique. You see, like, not only I'm holding a sword, I'm also holding a shield. So Paladin, this tank, has the shield, uh, has the shield, aka block, uh, number. So that means, like, you know what, well, I can block, based on the, uh, number, my block number, I can block the, uh, damage originating from, uh, the boss. Okay, boss is gonna actually cast another, uh, mechanic called the, uh, Crumbling Sky. Okay, let's just see like a what what crumbling sky does. Yeah, those are meteors, right? Lots of meteors. They will actually strike the floor. So I just popped a sprint. Sprint that means by using sprint, my character can run faster because I want to run faster here, right? Because I need to run faster to dodge those AOE. I don't want to get hit by it. Yeah, so another Great White. So this time I think my Divine Bell and the uh, Represso uh, did a catch of uh, uh, this mechanic. Buster. Yes, like you have guessed, I just uh, used Paladin's uh, own healing action. Paladin is one of the tanks which actually has its uh, own healing action. It's called the uh, Claimancy. Yeah, you see, like I just uh, used another cover to cover my uh, healer. Uh, why? Did I not cover DPS? It's like this. Support role, like each, every role is important, right? DPS job is to basically uh, damage the boss as hard as possible. But the uh, support role is like this. If support, if tank dies, pretty much the boss will actually target another uh, character. Mainly, usually it's uh, the uh, healer or sometimes the DPS as well. You can imagine, they are not a tank, so their HP will be dramatically reduced very fast, and then they will die next. If they die, basically two players die, uh, so the game will be actually uh, very hard. So tank first cannot die, followed by hitter. Hitter, if hitter dies, then like you know, there will be no play, uh, mainly hitting uh, the party, right? So that's the reason why I used the cover on my heater. Yeah, perfect. GG stands for good game. TYFP stands for thank you for play. That was a quite a good dungeon run. So at the end of each um, uh, dungeon or raid, there is a player commendation. So for sure, usually I give a uh, player commendation to a uh, hitter, but it depends on the performance. And you can see like both the Dragoon and the Scholar, they have uh, exited this uh, dungeon uh, earlier. So that's why I could only just give my commendation to uh, Machinist. There we go. I also received the one player commendation. Yep, so that's actually uh, the first thing I run daily or uh, weekly after the game is a reset. That's actually the uh, leveling uh, roulette, the dungeon. All right, so let's actually wrap up this uh, video here. In the next uh, episode of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I'm probably going to run uh, the second uh, roulette, which is the expert roulette. Uh, okay, see you there. Thank you so much.